Hello my little peachy moonies and welcome back to another episode of A Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge Cinderella Edition as you guys remember in the last episode. The fa not the fairy godmother, no not her. Our evil stepmother actually got her revenge on Cinderella after she spotted her with Prince Alexander and decided to marry her off to her eldest Drizella. Those guys got married in the last episode in front of Cinderella. It was all very very cruel and Cinderella is feeling particularly sad right now. Also sad as you can see is poor little Anastasia as well because Lady Tremaine has said you will be the next person I marry off stop hanging around with this baker grumpy I've had enough you're gonna do what I say and you're getting married off before I die too. Guys that is the one bit of good news at least Lady Tremaine is kind of getting on she's pretty old now so she doesn't have that long left to you know do her evil kind of nasty stuff that she does which is probably why she's turned the evil up to level 25,000 out of 10 in her final few like days of her life in fact, she is looking pretty close to the end. She's been torturing us for 192 days. Even though we haven't been in the house for all of that, it still very much feels that way. And Cinderella is sick from eating nauseated food. Awesome. You want to go to high school, Cinderella? Uh, but, oh my gosh, Grumpy checking in. I hope you're having a good day. You can't go to high school, I'm afraid, until you do the laundry. So you go ahead and do that. Sisters, you guys can go to high school though. And Grumpy's seriously worried about us. Bless him. Prince Alexander, who is also heading off to high school, is currently living with us. He's looking very Ooh, he was looking very happy with himself and then he got angry. The prince's spouse was flirting with another. Have they been doing this behind his back? So that is none other than Drizella. Because if you guys remember, she actually has the most love with Aaron. But she's married to the prince who she doesn't love a great deal, even though that is her spouse. But she's done it for political gain. In fact, both of them have as angry as Alexander is. Oh man, he's feeling cheated on and heartbroken. This, like... I didn't see any cheating happen like post wedding during the ceremony. Oh, Aaron came up and kissed Rosella on the cheek. Okay, then, yeah, I totally did. And this dramatic music, like, geez. I'm already being dramatic enough. You don't need to do all this. This is making it feel really tense. But yeah, Cinderella devastated. Anastasia devastated. Drizella, no. Okay. Drizella, this is something else that you guys pointed out in the comments. You guys said that you thought she was pregnant. Yeah, she has morning sickness. She has full-on morning sickness and she is going into trimester two. She's in trimester two right now, guys. Third trimester in 16 hours. So she is pregnant. I am not gonna lie, I have not seen her in Prince Alexander um, Woo Woo. They're teenagers as well, so I guess I've got it switched on in MTC. Ooh, she is about to age up into an adult as well, but I don't know if she can do that while she's pregnant. I didn't see them Woo Woo, however, 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 they both slept in the same bed last night, so they could well have done that, although it still timing wise wouldn't really add up. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know quite what the deal is with that. Uh, I guess we will find out once we have the baby, but this could be, uh, I don't know, an embarrassing and screw up of royal proportions. <gasps> So poor little Cinderella still washing away there. This is just too dramatic. I'm gonna have to turn it off. Washing away instead of heading into school because that's the way she has to roll, I'm afraid. She's in a good mood though because she's Cinderella and she's pretty good at this stuff. She's pretty good at staying happy by bad life circumstances. And now I'm getting asked about what to do about the prince. Oh my gosh. The teacher has to run out and pick up some medication so he asks the class to sit quietly and do their reading assignment while he's gone. Should the prince do that or try and do some homework while he has a chance? I don't know if you've done any homework because so you probably should do that. Okay, he did got performance loss. Okay, he did not do as he was supposed to do. Oh, well. And the washing machine is also... Uh, the dryer is also out of order. I've got that because sometimes this doesn't work, but that is what she's gonna have to use today. Once she's done that and cooked some food for Lady Tremaine, I will allow her to go up, off and away to school. In fact, there's some bread here. Have that, Lady Tremaine. Enjoy. Only because they're not allowed in the kitchen. She gets hungry while Cinderella's at school and she can't get in the kitchen, so I have to make sure she has food before I go into school. Although allowing her to starve... I, I wouldn't be sad, let's just put it that way. Oh my gosh, Grumpy. Why is Grumpy such a nice dude? To say he's called Grumpy, he's so nice. He's even congratulating those two, although it could be sarcastic because I feel like Cinderella would definitely have opened up to him. He's the only one in the family that seems to be in the know. However, in the last episode, just when we hit rock bo bottom, 
We actually heard from uh, Cinderella, I think it's technically her twin sister, Bash Valletta, who we decided was probably gonna be our fairy godmother. So maybe we look out for that in today's episode. Oh, look at this. Cinderella's father is like congratulating Anastasia for getting close with Cinderella and for those two forming a friendship despite the odds. That's because Anastasia deep down has a good heart, guys. You, I'm so glad you guys like steered me on that path and like to go for that storyline because I don't know, one, it's really nice to have somebody like a uh, kind of I don't know, sort of go from a bad character to a good character just because they always had that goodness in them. I think that's nice. And also, it's just at least something for Cinderella, isn't it? There's some light at the end of this tunnel. Okay, Cinders, once you've done that, you can now finally go to school. Your school performance is so shaky. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to give it a go at repairing this when you get home as well. Please don't let you keep yourself for to death because that would be a, a real sad ending, <laughs> wouldn't it, to our little Cinderella princess, or in general, Disney princess challenge. If we died at Prince number two. Oh, should Anastasia invite over classmate Aaron? You are fully doing that to mess with your sister. I guess your whole family is messing with you as well, Anastasia. But Aaron is potentially like Drizella's true love. So interesting. Should Cinderella invite over Sleepy? No, we are not getting the family involved in that. Prince wants to invite over Aaron as well. Okay, this is getting pretty cheeky right now. And oh my gosh, Drizella just got a text from Kian. What people say about you matters. And I heard that someone absolutely despises you now. It's making me question my own opinion over you. Wow, literally Gisela. Okay, so we got two princes in the house. Literally, Prince, Prince Alexander is enraged. He is literally enraged, stomping around because he's jealous of Gisela, who is tense, and Aaron. Where is Prince Aaron just gone? He's here, he's here, he's here. So I know that these guys, like, definitely, I don't know whether they did. Oh my gosh, this dude is still here. Alan, are you kidding me? How are you still here? Oh my gosh, how are you still alive? Why are you here? Can I just like, are you free now? There you go. You've just been trapped this whole time. The poor dude. I feel like he's literally been trapped there for like the past two episodes. And look at him. He's like, you forgot all about me. Okay, Cinders, you have to go cook for everyone. You go ahead and try and repair this. We've got trash to throw away as well. And oh my gosh, Aaron's coming up to chat with her. I don't know who, I don't know which is the baby's dad. I don't know. She's listening to Broker Dream as well. Like literally a bit too fitting when you've just married the most powerful prince. And yet you're here having, one, having a tantrum, but two, having a chat with Aaron. And uh, the prince is, prince, I, I can't baby you, prince. Okay, I don't know why you're asking us for advice. I know it's because you live with me, but this is some Broker Dream worthy drama right here. Look at her hanging out with him despite the prince being already really angry at you. Oh my gosh! Literally, Drizella providing us with all the drama. I did not see it coming, but I also kind of... Oh my gosh, they're embracing. Has he just seen that? No, that's the different prince. That is the prince that we randomly just decided to trap on a chair. But yeah, guys. Peeking through the window at the cheating's been going on upstairs. Have you even been married 24 hours yet, Drizella? I don't think you have. If it wasn't so gross, it would actually uh, be pretty impressive. But no, it's mainly just gross. And Grumpy wants to come over and hang out with Anastasia. Is he gonna try and ask her to run away with him again? Because I feel like that's where those guys' stories go in. And guys, here is your clam chowder. I also like that, you know, Prince Prince Andrew, who's oh, he's going through a little bit of a sore skin spot at the moment. Oh my gosh, why, why is my why is that happening? Yeah, he was originally the one that Cinderella liked a lot. He's now super angry because obviously Drizella. Just okay, but we're still being we're still being very princely, even though you think this guy might be treating with your wife. Very princely behavior. Look how angry and there he is, though. But also, I like that he's moved in and just been like, "Yes, yeah, Cinderella can keep cooking and cleaning for us." I mean, that's the way things have always gone. Who am I to rock the bowl? Your yeah, Prince Alexander. How could you do that to Cinderella? There was a stage where you were like being so sweet with her, and now you're just happily eating food and not questioning anything at all. And Grumpy, you need to stay out of sight. Where is Lady Tremaine? She is upstairs. Okay, I feel like definitely you are trying- Why is the, do the dog isn't allowed anywhere but the kitchen as well? 
You and my friend are treading very dangerous ground right now. I feel like you guys need to add to a little group and do a little runaway together to at least talk at the bottom of the garden where Lady Tremaine isn't going to find you and skin you. You can take my secret spot if you like. Oh, and Bash Valletta is wondering if I want to meet her someplace. Bash Valletta is our fairy godmother. Even though she isn't our godmother, I know she's our twin sister, but still, there's something pretty special about that. There's drama going along with princes and grumpies and stuff right now, so I feel like since I've just cooked for them, it's a pretty good time to sneak away. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. And oh my gosh, look how full on fairy godmother. Uh -huh. She looks right now. I edited oh. her appearance a little bit, and <laughs> since the fairy godmother was wearing a full blue dress, but I only have this fairy one, I was like, I'll just go blue with her makeup instead. I, th It's a look. She also had the red bow on. I, it's, an, it's an updated modern look, okay? It's kind of the way we're going with this stuff. It's like half in, half out, you know? Now, oh my gosh, just look at Cinderella's wants right now. <laughs> Flirt with the prince, woo woo with the prince, and ask someone to go steady. So I know this place doesn't seem to get teenagers ever. So I'm not too worried about any princes walking in on us, even especially enraged princes having mood swings. And Cinderella's getting the chance to whine about her unfair life to her sister. I mean, I know she's talked a little bit to Grumpy about this, but this really is like one of the first times where she's actually opened up to anyone outside of Grumpy. And just have someone give her a little bit of advice. Not even just all about up advice. Sometimes just listening to you when you're going through a sad spot is uh, is super, super useful. But I think fair, that our fairy godmother would be giving us the advice to hang in there. I know that there will be a chance soon for happiness and we have to be ready to take it. And also to not worry because good things happen to good people. And Cinderella is definitely a good person who deserves happiness. So hang in there, keep being good. Keep doing what Snow White told us to be a nice person. And I promise you, a little bit of magic will come way always soon. So whilst these guys are chatting, I'm gonna head back to Anastasia and Grumpy. Oh my gosh, I come back and these guys are arguing. He's chewing it out because he's still enraged. Like, literally. They have zero love now. Literally zero love. So this marriage has been a complete success so far. This is why maybe marrying for status and titles is not the best. Maybe marry for a bit of love. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. Well... That's actually the opposite of old fashion. It's more of a modern approach, but maybe in a modern approach is better when it comes to marriage, okay? Love, just a bit of love. He is not acting very princely right now. He's off to go and try and calm himself down in front of a mirror. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gets in Moodlet to ask for a divorce soon, if I'm being honest. Meanwhile, Anastasia and Grumpy have snuck off to the grounds together to make a secret pact to run away together this week so that Anastasia doesn't have to marry some random prince, but also to have their very first kiss as well. And Grumpy, you're gonna have to be working on that baking, okay? Oh, because you're gonna have to be supporting oh, Anastasia on yourself soon if you run away. I'm just saying, because I'm not gonna lie, this girl has zero skills. I love her, she's lovely, but no, there's not much coming on. <laughs> Plus, running away as teenagers is hard. You might be high-fiving and feeling like this is a great idea, but I promise you, it's gonna be tough. However, it's also so much better than staying here and having to live with our evil stepmother, I'm just saying. Who apparently, even though I got that notification about her being old and dying soon, she's hanging on, she's going nowhere. It feels like at this point, her and Lucifer might outlive us all, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and I'm there saying that, like literally, he keeps changing my opinion on me, on him. I keep changing my opinion on him. I left him to his own devices, but because he likes, because of his personality type, he's bitch been in here gardening and actually helping Cinderella out with growing food for the family. So he keeps doing stuff that I'm like, oh, I love him. And then I'm like, no, no, he's actually not that good to Cinderella. And then he does something like this. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? That is actually quite sweet and helpful. So right now he's helping her out with his chores. Even though he's very like in his prince outfit, he doesn't need to do this. He is doing it for Cinderella and that's kind of sweet, right? And unfortunately, Cinderella going out and speaking with a fairy godmother has in like given the unintended effect of a chore debt. So she is now doing all our chores at half three in the morning, just cause uh, I'm that mean. <laughs> it's the challenge, okay? If she's not acting like Cinderella, what's the point of even being the Cinderella challenge, okay? Don't come at me. I'm just being truthful to the story. And look at that, she repaired, she repaired this all on her own. Pretty impressive, right? Okay, and she's done with the trials for now. You can go to school, 12 p.m. <laughs> and drizella has gone into labor. drizella has gone into labor at school. Uh, her dad has sent us some money, 200 pounds. I don't think that's gonna cover very much baby costs, but okay. But she's in school, so I can't, <laughs> I can't even see her, but she is in labor in school. I've never had a sim go into labor while I've been in school before. 
Literally, this is a first. This is a first right here. Uh, this is go time. She's in labor and I can't do anything. <laughs> She's just in school. Whose baby is it gonna be? That is what I wanna know. Should Prince invite over Grumpy? No, no, that does not feel like a good idea right now. Should Anastasia invite over Kian? Um, okay. And what we're gonna do about this whole baby set? I guess this is kind of the olden days. You guys didn't really, uh... Oh my gosh, the principal always rings about poor Cinderella. You do- you kind of had babies at home. Oh my gosh, the baby is here! The baby is here! Uh, Prince is going into prenatal panic. Uh, so that- I, I would have always thought- Okay, but he's also then goes straight to look at a ship. I would have always thought that that meant it was his baby, but as we know from Sage's storyline, not always the case! Not always quite as simple as that. And the baby's here! The baby is born. Okay, it's given him the Alexander surname, but I guess she has that now. And Otis... Darian. Darian sounds quite princely, doesn't it? Okay, this... there we go. Prince Darian has arrived! And... wow! He actually appeared in your hands! Okay, we never get this actually to work. Could this be the turning point for Gisela? Could she actually become nice now? No, she's just dumped the kid on the ground. Uh, fed it to the cat. Lady Tremaine seems pretty happy about the whole thing, but don't yet know who the father is. I don't think Lady Tremaine knows that, so she doesn't know whether it's panic or not yet. She has no idea. She's still just blissfully thinking they are like totally in there and this is a royal baby, but we don't know if it is, okay? We don't know if it is. Still, I'll get it the royal crib. Royal nursery crib. And let's pop the little sprog in there. And she's very sad. Time to wear black. Sad because I'm sad. Nobody would understand. I feel like maybe she did not want this baby, okay. And what is his relation to Darian? Acquaintance! Darian is the baby's acquaintance. Okay, okay. Grumpy wants to come. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are terrible. Okay, but it's Prince Alexander's acquaintance. I don't think that means it's his baby because for her, it says son. It doesn't say that for him. It's not Prince Alexander's baby, guys. This is a nightmare. <laughs> also, I think she's realized because she's sad. Oblivious <laughs> Lady Tremaine, though, is real happy. Okay, so these two are on baby brigade. We've got Anastasia sneaking off over here with Grumpy yet again. And I had uh, Cinderella make a wish. Oh, hello, Kian. Sure. Make a wish for love. She got nothing sets Where's the tone for yeah. a of romance, like a little flirting. Oh, but what is Cinderella waiting for? Go Have paint that. the town Come red to or pink, as it were. Ah. And doing that has given her the ultimate flirt. Okay, I don't usually use the wishing well, so I, d I wasn't really sure what it would and wouldn't do. Ah. However, she literally, can you see this? She has it. like little hearts ah. that keep uh, uh, yeah, randomly yeah, going yeah, around see. her head. But her and Kian right now are just friends. They're just having a chit chat outside. I mean, she is in a flirty mood, but I'm kind of just gonna see like where, what she does on her own accord. You also actually need to go ahead and make some dinner. I'm not gonna lie. So why don't you serve some dinner? Cause we have a lot of guests today. A lot of royal guests and a new royal baby. And look at these guys in their little oh, new secret spot around. that apparently no oh, one else knows about but them yeah. playing a little bit of chess. I feel like they've got a little bit of time now but with the new royal baby uh, who's always sad. Dorian has not stopped crying since he came home. So I feel a little bit sorry for Drizella. But yeah, the, the heat is off them for a little bit. Lady Tremaine is at least satisfied just for now. And the baby must be tough work cause everyone's Everyone's having an early night, apart from poor little Cinderella, who's obviously had to cook and clean for everyone, which always takes a really long amount of time. And since Kian's still sticking around, Anastasia invited him over. Don't know whether she was doing Cinderella a little solid there, but these guys have become good friends just from hanging out together. Also, Cinderella's getting pretty close to becoming a young adult. Can I just put that out there as well? And Lady Tremaine has started being mean and it's to Princess Alexander. She couldn't hide her true nature for this long. Oh my gosh, did you see her just did you see her just do some little cheeky moves then? I spotted that. He's not feeling flirty anymore, but she is she doesn't have the same urge to do romantic stuff with the prince. Which is kind of nice. Like she's moved on from that a little bit. I don't know whether it's the well or hanging around with Prince Kian that's done the trick, but something has definitely put a little smile on her face and made her not think about Alexander for the first time in a while, which is nice. In fact, she's kind of laughing and having a good time, which is really cute. Oh wow, she actually doesn't have any Prince stuff anymore. She actually wants to try and make an effort with Drizella. Fairy Godmother definitely changed her mind in a big way. Okay, it is 12 o'clock at night though. I know you guys have this whole deep connection. 
made a new good friend and pleasant conversation thing. But I do think, you know, it's probably time for you to do your final chores uh, and then go to bed, please. Um, Prodigitella is up in the night with the baby. I'm noticing the prince not really making a lot of effort. I don't know if he knows yet. I don't know if it's the kind of thing that will become more obvious once the baby becomes a toddler. But right now, he's just like, yeah. Is he reading a parenting book? He's browsing a book. Probably the book of like, can baby form if no woo-woo? I, I don't know. He's only a teenager. And this is the olden days. I don't feel like they had sex ed in school. Maybe he's just a bit clueless about the whole thing. And the dog and cat are fighting. Good job, guys. And it's harvest fest. Okay, this is good because I'll be able to throw like a grand meal and a big harvest day festival, which I think we will save the next episode. The thing that I would be most th thankful for I'm not gonna lie, is for Lady Tremaine to- Lady Tremaine who's happy because she's near her daughter's misery. I think her going would be our greatest gift of all. That would be what I'm most thankful for, I'm not gonna lie. But we've got a very sad, super depressed uh, Prince Alexander. Because yeah, he has a wife who has a baby, who I think he's starting to realise might not be his baby. I mean, he's putting on a brave face, let's face it. He did also help Cinderella right in the garden though, so I kind of feel like their romance might not be dead yet. Ooh! Okay, he's pulled away from her. He's not interested in her at all. Cinderella, though, in this time, has kind of ended up getting sort of close to Prince Kian. There's no romance there yet, but they have become really close. And a fairy godmother did tell us to look out for something happy on the horizon. Ooh, she's also got a gnome in her room. A harvest fest gnome right there. And Anastasia is ready to enact her plan to run away with Grumpy. We might use the cover of ha the big harvest fest. We'll throw like a whole dinner party for it, invite everybody, but that might be good cover for her to run away. Is that something you want to see happen? Let me know in the comments below. I am hoping that this will be Lady Tremaine's final episode because we have the glowing bar. So let us all pray for the thankfulness of Lady Tremaine leaving so that Cinderella is finally allowed to date as per the rules. And also we will age up the little prince uh, Darian and see just who his father is as well in the next episodes. If you guys are excited for that, please give this video a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!